Alright, welcome back guys. So, we have made our way to the top floor where we first met the the um, killer. We have to find out why he was here in the first place. There's something to collect here. What's this? I don't know how this will end. The killer is an enigma to the police and a lurking shadow in my own life. If only I can keep Joy from harm, I would do anything, even push her away, if it meant pushing her to safety. So this looks like more side stuff. Okay. There's 14 clues in this area. Oh, they come up with anything here. That's cool. Okay, so let's see what the clues are. Let's check the clues on the ground to start with. That's, a, that's where we fought against them, bashed them against the wall. We got tossed around pretty bad. That guy's strong. Okay. What's this one? The broken window. See, that, that doesn't tell us anything for why he was here, because that all happened after we got here. It's just more of the fight. Yeah, that's where we must have been bouncing around the room, beating each other up. Yep. Yeah. What's, what's this guy know? Man, we gotta find these tenants. If they're still alive. Okay, so there's tenants there on the, the people that are missing. I don't recognise them. <laughs> Not that I've really been paying attention to what people look like just yet. Okay, we've got those clues there. Clue there. Is it, is it gone? Uh, have we already inspected this? We've done it on the cutscene when we entered. Might need to do it again just to... Yeah, got two guns, one that dro dropped up here. Who's this? What's the killer? You can reveal the residue of memories imprinted in this realm. What was the killer doing? Yeah. Oh, wait there. What's it look like he's doing? Looks like he may be searching. He's looking in a cupboard. So why else would he be looking in the cupboard? He's not fighting, is he? Yeah, he's definitely searching. He's not leaving through a cupboard. <laughs> huh? Why oh, is that red? Does that mean that's definitely not right? Purposeful. Say so that he had a purpose for what he was doing. Yep. So if you get those questions right, it, it shows you a little clip of what happened. And it didn't really show me what, it just showed me walking in, searching for something. Okay, so the people that were here are missing. So maybe he was searching for them for some reason. Maybe he's got a reason for why he kills people, he must do. I don't think he's a random killer. There's nothing in here. There's a thing on the floor. Julia's thoughts. Why is that here? What? Which usually they engage people who are nervous about meeting the parents or the intended. It's just a note about here. I'm not going to read that. It's not meant to do with the case. It's just more backstory. Which is not really my concern right now. I'm sure we'll have plenty of time to talk to his wife once we find out who the killer is. <laughs> The f what is the what are these? I don't understand what they. How is that revealing anything? Like a watery grave. So there's another, must be another serial killer. Maybe that kills people with water. I don't know. Who's to collect there? Inspect. Spiritual. It's a book about ghosts. Book about ghosts in different realms. Okay. Oh, so there's a person that's been living here. What are the questions? What was the girl doing? Hiding, definitely. Um, frightened. Yep. And there's one more answer. It shows you the answers at the bottom, but you picked and there's one question mark, so there's one more. So we picked hiding, frightening, frightened. She's not ignoring, she's not interfering, she's watching. Is that me behind her? There was a witness to my fight with the killer. 
Okay, so yeah, she stayed there maybe and watched her on the fight. Who knows if she got away afterwards. I'm guessing she probably did because the, the killer came back downstairs. So there's another seven clues here. What? So, okay, we fi exit, no. I think we found out why the killer was here for this girl, maybe. So, why was the killer here? Searching killer, hiding witness. He was searching. That's all stuff to do with what happened when I got here. So there's another three things we can think, we can pick to maybe help us with the answer. So before we find, try and pick what the answer is. I know one of the answers, there's two answers you have to pick I think. Can we walk through this? No. And I think one of them is going to be him searching. Possibly the other one will be the girl, but we don't know. Maybe just something else that's better. We can exit there, maybe that's something outside there, but before we check that I'm just going to have one more little look around here. There's not much here. I don't think there's anything outside of the room. There's a bathroom. Can we look at what's inside the cupboard? Nothing. Okay. Packing or unpacking? Okay. So someone's trying to leave. So they must have known he was coming. Maybe I missed all this. Came in the stream before. So there's a kid's psychological drawings. Maybe the killer is a patient, uh, you know, like a, a client to a psychologist before. And he's trying to tie up loose ends or something. I think there's one more thing, because there was three left when we last tried to. Yeah, we can check now. There's one more thing. I can't seem to find anything else. Okay, let's try and answer the question. Why was the killer here? He was searching. The killer was looking for something or someone. What was he searching for? Yep, he was searching for something. Hiding witness. Signs of struggle. No, no, no. Okay, we got all the clues, we actually. I know there's only one left. I'm going to pick the girl. Quite relevant because there's a girl in the house and he's searching in the house. I wonder if there's multiple cinematics in this, like cutscenes, to what happens. Depending on what you pick. This is where I came in. Turn around. You're under arrest. He got a bit close, didn't he? Maybe there was a clue outside, we could exit before and check. Maybe she left something like caught a clothing or something. So that's what I walked in on. Was he after the girl? Where'd she go? There's only way, one way to find out. Let's follow her. That's the next question, where did she go? Some investigations include multiple questions, yep. So each inve investigation has a question. Girl might be who the killer is after. Okay. So, still four more clues. Can we try and answer the question? No, let's try and let's follow out where she went. I need to finish investigating before I go somewhere. Okay. Else. So we can't check out there just yet. The triangle button's not working. That's how you answered the question last time. 
We can inspect this. Obscured photos. That looks like the witness, but what else is important in these pictures? She's with someone else, isn't she? Okay, so there's three more clues. I don't, could I access this before? I don't think I could. This new stuff. Missing person status report. This is the same Cassandra Foster who occasionally worked with Salem Police Department as a psychic consultant. Is Cassandra the girl that was hiding? Maybe. One of the missing tenants, Cassandra Foster, worked with the police as a, te as a psychic consultant. Maybe she's the daughter of the psychic consultant. Because there's tenants, so there's multiple people living here. There's an umbrella thing. Huh, does he know anything? Oh, he can influence him. To move his hand, maybe, so he can see the pictures better. What would make him move the photos under the folder? Maybe miss make him look at the missing person's request instead. I'm thinking that might be there. It's not going to be the photos themselves, because he's already there. Like... I think that might make a move, influence him. No, that won't make him pick up the hand, the folder. What will the, the thing itself make him pick it up? I think that's our score, the, the badges, maybe. I think there's one less badge there and that means that we got one wrong. Baxter looking for the girl. View. Let's click on the pictures themselves. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's too obvious. Should get this photo to Rex for that Amber Alert. Okay, so there's a photo of the witness now. Hmm, photo of the witness, collector's evidence. Can I find info on where she went in them? Man, we gotta find these tenants. If they're still alive. Maybe I can just look at the photos again now. That's my last clue. Yep, focus on the photos. You can receive psychic flashes from certain objects by pinpointing them, sounds denoting the strongest psychic energy. So. What's making the sounds? The priest, isn't it? Yeah, it's bells. A photo of a young girl and a priest in front of the local church. Okay, that's the right photo to look at. Anywhere that I could stay, just for a little while. Oh, of course, dear. The church is always here to help. Okay, so she goes to the church to hide, whatever. Okay. Out the window. Gun me down in the street, and you didn't even check for witnesses? Like you're untouchable. That girl is my only lead. I need to find her. We just go now. My only lead is the girl. Yep. Let's go after her. Head towards the church. Maybe they can communicate with ghosts with being like a psychic and all that. And having those draw drawings. You're already dead, you can't be killed. <laughs> okay. So we gotta head towards the church. How is that an investigation to head towards the church? It's just. I don't know, what's this? View my life. Today, everything died for me. So she di did she die here? Like, right next to where I died? That's crazy if it did. Face it, Baxter hated the guy. I think the hate was pretty mutual. Ronan was a little rough around the edges. But Baxter, he isn't exactly Mr. Cuddly. Yeah, but you don't think he'd... I mean, a fellow cop. Or anybody. In this job, I'm surprised less every day about what people are really capable of. Okay, so Baxter was the guy who 
put my hat on after I was he found my body. So he's probably one of the potential witnesses because he hated me so much, which I probably don't think it is going to be him. You know, just because he looks a bit like a dumb, you know, he doesn't look as... I don't know, maybe it is, who knows. <laughs> I'm sure we'll probably find a lot of witnesses, I mean, not suspects, oh, across the hard journey. Alright, where are we going? Can we go for the fence? Yep. Although there's no reason to, because there's nothing there. <laughs> Why is there a big boat here? That's not a real object, is it? It's like something from the past, maybe. Oh, hide. It's funny. Why can't we hide? I've got a feeling there's going to be demons. I wish ghosts were real and we could just talk to them. How strange is that? She's thinking about ghosts when there's a ghost right next to her, which is probably, it's probably all the time. <laughs> okay, um. What's going on down here? Something gold there we can click on. Where am I? Witness view of eyes. The witness only saw the suspect's face briefly. Much of the face obscured, but suspect appeared to be white male with blue eyes. Slow. These are side cases, which is like, are they not important? Are they just like kind of like extra things to the, to the game? Or oh, who knows? I don't know. Maybe it all it all is gonna help towards the final investigation. I don't even know how I got here. She needs help. Listen, I don't know if there's anything I can do, but it looks like you could use some help. I I, I don't know how I got here, or or even where here is. I can't remember what happened to me. Why am I like this? You're dead. I'm I'm sorry to tell you. But if you're here, it means you're dead. I knew it. <laughs> Look, I'm in a similar situation. Now, I used to be a detective. Let me take a look around and see if I can find anything that will help you make sense of all this. I, I don't even know where you'd start. Is there anything you remember? doesn't matter how small. Sometimes the tiniest detail is all it takes. Um, I remember lots of people. And this rowboat. I, everyone was scared. And I, I keep seeing the name Mana Hansen. That's a start. Let me see what I can do. I don't understand why I'm helping her. You know, I've got my own problems. So I'm gonna reveal how she died. There's five clues. This is her obituary. She died when a rowboat capsized and sank. Her body was never recovered. What was she doing on a rowboat? So she died. She drowned to death. Hmm. Huh? She died recently. Okay, there's the last clue. Well, it's not a clue, that's just a bridge. <laughs> it's a rowboat. There's a note. You will be deeply missed. You are a hero to us all. Huh. Hero to us all. Looks like more than one person owes her their lives. Looks like a memorial of some kind. I'll bet people left more than just this around here. Finding that stuff could help piece things together. So I need to find out why she died. That tells us how she died, she drowned. There's three things to pick, there's four. Okay. Say she was in a rowboat retaining to this, whatever that is, sinking. Mono hadn't said right before she drowned. I think that's one. It looks like there was some kind of loving tribute left here. I wonder if it has anything to do with this girl. Huh, maybe. 
The notes on these flowers read, you'll be deeply missed, you are a hero to us all. A bunch of candles were left here the year, over the years, most of them look like prayer candles. And they're survivors of the steamer wreck. So maybe... I don't think it's the candles. I think it might be the... That's just saying how she was missed and she was a hero. That kind of shows a bit of like... Survivors. I'm gonna go with this, I think. No, that's wrong. Okay. Huh? So it's not that. <laughs> I'm gonna get a really shit score on this, aren't I? Must be... Yep. No, it's either the candles or the photo. I think it's probably the photo. Because the candles could be anything. Yep. When the model handset went down, she wasn't a victim. She was a hero. She saved a lot of people before her rowboat sank. She needs to know how much she meant to them. The whole story. She was a hero who actually saved a lot of lives. Yep. And it went something sank. The boat. Let's tell her. Did you find anything? Yes. That name you remember, the mono handset? Turns out it was a steamer ship that sank right outside of Salem Harbor. If it weren't for you, a lot of people would have died. You're a hero. If I saved everyone, then how did I die? No, no, you, you didn't save everyone, but you were trying to. Your rowboat capsized. I can't swim. So I must have drowned. I'm sorry. No. Don't be. Thanks to you, instead of fear and sadness, I feel pride. If it weren't for you, I would never have known. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm glad I could help. Okay, so that's just a side mission. That's nothing to do with me. So I think in the future we're going to avoid them side missions, just kind of like progress with the main story and the investigation of my death and who the murderer was. Right, I'm going to leave this part here before we get to church. Right, thanks for watching guys.